All right, get ready to dig in because we're diving deep into 52 Seeds. A guide to self-discovery, personal growth, and meaningful change. That's the one <laughs> by Dr. Lawrence Pfaff. This is going to be good. Oh, it is. It is. We're talking about those practical nuggets of wisdom. You know, The kind that helps you actually make some changes. Yes. Plant those seeds, watch them grow. And I always love a good origin story. You know me. Mm. Dr. Pfaff's dedication, it just got me right off the bat. Oh, yeah. He talks about learning from everyone, even at a funeral. Can you imagine? Wow. Finding solace, comfort in someone's words at a time like that. It's powerful. It really is. You know, it says a lot about him. Mm. That is mess. It's not some exclusive club, right? Right. Dr. Pfaff believes this wisdom. It's for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are, what you've been through. Everyone gets a seed. I love yeah. that. But 52 seeds, that's a lot to unpack. Where do we even begin? Okay. Seeds one and two, those are what grabbed me. Oh, yeah. They're the foundation. And it might surprise you, but it all starts with self-kindness. Okay. Dr. Pfaff, he's basically saying you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't help others if you don't help yourself first. It's so true. Like that saying, you can't love someone else until you love yourself. But applied to, like, yeah. everything. And that leads us to seed three, the introspection illusion. This one had a little too close to home, I got to say. Oh, I know, right? Painfully relatable. We're so good at seeing everyone else's flaws. Yeah. <laughs> but our own, we're blind. Hey, we're... Dr. Feth uses this analogy of a mirror, right? We're staring at a blemish on our friend's forehead, completely oblivious to the one on our own. Oh, my gosh. Yes. We are our own worst critics. Uh -huh. But here's where he goes from insightful to, like, actually useful. He gives you the tools to do something about it. Yeah. That dig deeper section. Gold. Yeah. Your goal. Absolutely. Take that daily activity, the one where he says, talk to yourself like a friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine how different our inner dialogue would be if we actually did that. Right. It was like game changer. Total game changer. And it connects so perfectly to seed four. Embrace your humanity. Yes. We're all a little messed up, a little imperfect. It's time to accept that, you know? Be kind to ourselves. Exactly. Instead of that inner critic, counter it with kindness. Understand yourself. Yeah. Recognize that those flaws, those mistakes... They make us human. Learn from them. So we're cultivating self-kindness. We're embracing those imperfections. It's like we're laying the foundation. Yeah. Right. And that brings us to seed five. That relationship we have with ourselves, it's the most important one of all of them. Big statement. But it's at the core of Dr. Pfaff's approach. Think about it. How we treat ourselves, how we talk to ourselves, what we expect of ourselves. It affects every other relationship in our lives. Wow. If we're at war with ourselves... How can we be there for anyone else? Exactly. It's like trying to build a house on a shaky foundation. It's not going to work. It's never going to be stable. So taking care of ourselves, nurturing that relationship, it's essential. It's the key. It's how we unlock those deeper connections with everyone else. That is a perspective shift. And it makes you think, what else are we getting wrong about self-care, about personal growth? Okay, we're back. Ready to plant some more seeds and see what grows. Let's do it. We were talking about how important that relationship with ourselves is. And this next part really digs into that. Yeah, seed seven is a big one. Dr. Pfaff says, flat out, the most important relationship, the one you have with you. Wow. Not your partner, not your family, you. That's a lot to process. It's a big statement, but when you think about it, it makes sense. It does. It's so easy to think of self-care as selfish. Yeah. Like we should be putting everyone else first. I've been there, definitely guilty of that. Right. But Dr. Pfaff's challenging that whole idea here. He is. He uses that analogy, you know, the one, the oxygen mask on an airplane. Right. Classic for a reason. You can't help the person next to you if you haven't put your own mask on first. Taking care of yourself. Not selfish. It's essential. Like you got to fill your own cup first. Exactly. Then you have something to give to others. So those treat yourself moments. Maybe not so frivolous after all. Exactly. Okay, now seed eight throws a bit of a curveball. Mastering your thoughts. Okay. Sounds good. But is that even possible? Like, okay. do we really have that much control over what goes on in our own minds? That's what I thought. But here's the thing, Dr. Pfaff. He compares the mind to a marketplace. Ooh, okay. I like that. Yeah, thoughts are like all these vendors, right? <laughs> Vying for your attention. Not we right. can't control what thoughts enter the marketplace. But we do get to decide which ones we engage with. Oh, I love that. So it's not about shutting down those negative thoughts completely. It's about how much power we give them. Exactly. I used to get really bad stage fright. Like, really bad before presentations. And the more I tried to just, like 
not think about it, the worse it got. Oh no, it backfires. Total backfire. So I learned to shift my focus. Instead of dwelling on the nerves, I focused on my prep, my breathing. The reason I was even giving the presentation in the first place. Game changer. Total game changer. And that connects so well with Seed 10. It's not the event, but the meaning we give it. That determines how we feel. Powerful stuff, right. We think we're just reacting to what's happening around us. Yeah. But it's our thoughts about what's happening. That's what really shapes our experience. That's incredibly empowering, though, when you think about it. We have more control than we realize. We do. We can control how we respond to things. Exactly. Yeah. We may not be able to control every little thing that happens to us. Life's going to happen. But we can choose how we react. There's always a choice, even if it doesn't feel like it. That is a great reminder. Okay, so we're being kind to ourselves, mastering our thoughts. Where do we go from here? So much more to uncover. Okay, so we've got a handle on our thoughts, mm -hmm. maybe. But what about our perspective? Like how we see the world feels like that shapes everything, doesn't it? You're right, it does. And C14 spells this out perfectly. It's that quote by Max Planck, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. It's so simple. Right. But profound. Deep stuff. Mm -hmm. And the really cool thing is, Dr. Pfaff actually gives us ways to use this. Seed 16, remember that one? The question. Yeah. What wonderful thing is going to happen to me today? Love it. Just reading that, I felt a shift. Right. It's like you're already looking for the good stuff. Exactly. Your brain's primed to see the positive. Those good things that might have slipped by before. You're going to notice them now. Like you're wearing rose-colored glasses. Not that you're ignoring the other stuff, but... You're choosing to focus on the good. Exactly. It's like that seed 13, seeing the world as positive. Which isn't about pretending everything's perfect, right? No, no, no. Dude, it's about a approaching life with, like, optimism, mm. possibility. Yes. Recognizing that good things exist, even in the tough times. Okay, feeling inspired over here. But you know what can really throw a wrench in the works? Oh, I know this one. Comparison. Yes. Ugh. It's so easy to fall into that trap, especially now with everyone's highlight reels plastered online. The worst. Makes you feel like you're not enough. And that's why Seed 26 is so important. Dr. Pfaff talks about how when we compare ourselves to others, it's like comparing apples and oranges. We're all on our own paths, right? Totally. Different starting points, different strengths. What even is success? Yeah. Exactly. Everyone's definition is different. And every time we compare, it's like this tiny leak in our self-worth. Imagine you've got this boat and every comparison is another hole letting in doubt, insecurity. So how do we plug those holes? How do we start to value our own journey? Well, C28 has a really interesting take on this. It suggests that sometimes our strengths can actually become blind spots. What do you mean? Like we rely so much on what we're good at, we don't see how it might also be holding us back. Oh, interesting. Like that saying, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Exactly. Imagine someone who's really tenacious, right? Determined. That can be amazing. But it can also turn into stubbornness, not being willing to adapt or see other perspectives. So how do we find that balance? Using our strengths, but not letting them limit us. Seed 30. Exploring your ignorance. Okay. Sounds a little harsh. It's not about being mean to ourselves. It's about being open to feedback. Learning from others, especially in those areas where we think, oh, I've got this, because we all have blind spots. True, true. And the only way to see them is to, like, shine a light on them. Exactly. Get those different perspectives in there. Love it. Okay, last few seeds. Seed 34, kind of a reality check. You won't get a second chance at today. It sounds intense, right? Just a little bit, yeah. But I think it's meant to be a motivator. Like, live intentionally. Make the most of now because you can't hit rewind on life. And when you really embrace that, seed 36 hits different. The more you give, the more you grow. So good, right? It reminds us it's not just about us. It's about making a difference. Hmm. Using what we've got, our talents, our experiences, to contribute to something bigger. It's all connected, isn't it? Connecting with ourselves, with others, with something larger than ourselves. Yeah. And that takes us right back to Dr. Pfaff, his whole message of shared wisdom. Full circle. It's been quite a journey through these 52 seeds, hasn't it? It really has. We covered so much. Self-discovery, growth, the power of perspective. But Dr. Pfaff leaves us with one final seed, one last thought, seed 52. Where in your life do you need to take a step forward in spite of fear? Let that one sink in. It's a good one to sit with because real growth often means getting a little uncomfortable. So embrace that discomfort, challenge yourself, and see what incredible things you can make happen. I love that. Plant those seeds. Yes.
And thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We'll see you next time for more explorations into unlocking your potential.